Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm gonna be talking through the things that I'm looking forward to wearing this autumn fall season. For those who don't know, this is practically my favorite season of the entire year. I absolutely love coats. You guys know I love coats, I love layering. So I thought I'd share with you the things that I am looking forward to wearing, as well as you know the fall essentials, as well as things that you should have in your wardrobe or probably already have in your wardrobe for this season. I haven't really bought that much stuff this year. I say that now, but that's probably gonna change. So I'm able to like re-wear a lot of my things and there are a lot of things I didn't even get to wear at all last year. So excited to show you and there are some new bits in there as well. So I thought I'd show you what they are. The first thing I'm excited to be wearing this autumn fall season are blazers. I have one on right now. I've just paired it with this belt. And so funny how a lot of the things I was looking for, I was trying to shop for, this year I already had and it's so good to always do like regular clear outs, regular checkups of what you have in your order because sometimes I tend to buy some things that I've already, I already have. So this is the first thing I said, blazers. We know we love blazers. I wear blazers all year round, summer, spring, winter, fall. It's just a staple piece for me and you think a blazer is definitely a staple piece to have for fall. This blazer I got from ASOS last year, it's a the, from the Collision, Collusion brand. Um, it's quite oversized, so I did kind of like cinch it in with a belt. It's also in the brown shade, which is also a very um, popular colour as well this year, as per usual. But brown was so popular last season, winter season, so I did stock up on a lot of brown stuff. So I've got this, and you can also keep it classy and just go for a regular black blazer. This blazer I bought from Zara. I have been looking for like a long line blazer that was kind of oversized and still looks quite nice. And as much as it seems like it's so basic, I've been struggling to find a black one. But I got this from Zara, it's quite recent, so it should still be in stock. It does go in and out of stock. Um, I got it in the medium, I probably could have gone for a small, but I still kind of like the fit. I'm all for the oversized fit. So again, it doesn't have to be from Zara. This was, this retails for $17.99. It doesn't have to be this much, but for me, there are certain pieces that I would actually invest in. So this is definitely one of them. Obviously, you can get the blazers in different colors. These are all autumn tonal colors. This one I got last year from ASOS. It is actually menswear. I absolutely love menswear when it comes to blazers. Like, if I had to pick, I'd opt more towards menswear. I just love the fit and I love the more options and the fact that you can get them long as well. This one is from Zara, again, with the you know autumn fall colors. Also a recent purchase. Um, I don't remember how much it was, I've already worn this, but it's giving me barman vibes with the gold hardware, gold buttons. These pieces you probably already have in your wardrobe, so you don't really have to go out and buy. But if you don't, I would definitely say invest in a really good black, good quality black blazer because that can go with every colour. Next thing I am looking forward to wearing are shackets. They basically look like a shirt, but they have the thickness of a jacket. And this did not make it on the gram last year. I got this last year as well. I still have a tag from H&M, but there's so many of this out all over. So you can definitely shop for a good one. Got this in the, in the medium. So this. Something you can pair with, like you can definitely be more casual with. So like you can have a white top with jeans. I also have another one similar to this. I think I wore it as a dress, like a coat, like a jacket dress, if that makes sense. And I had like boots underneath. So this can also be worn with like knee high boots, with like maybe like a, a, not a midi a midi dress right now for this, uh, for this weather. Mini dress with like maybe knee high boots or the knee or ankle boots. So you can definitely shop, I will put a few alternatives because obviously this was from last year I'll put alternatives the next thing I am absolutely looking forward to you is the quilted trend now this is coming in different forms I've seen them in coats jackets skirts shorts but I absolutely love the quilted coat trend and this is another piece that I got last year that I didn't get to wear like this coat I'm so excited I'm gonna put like an insert somewhere maybe here of what it looks like on uh, ignore what I'm wearing in the bottom, I just wanted to put it on to show you. I absolutely love it. It feels like a quilt, it has this like a big lapel situation. It's just full so luxurious. It was only from ASOS. I feel like last year ASOS had plenty of amazing coats, but right now I'm not really, it's not giving what it's supposed to gain, you know? If you know me, you know I definitely do not need any more coats. Like, we're done with coats. You know that's a lie. It's a lie. Like, who am I trying to kid? That's a lie. 
But so far, I'm actually loving the coats that I've you know, accumulated in the last couple of years and I definitely will be re-wearing them. So again, these things were last year's season trend. So if you didn't grab them last year, you have a chance to as well this year. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. So there are different, like I said, comes in different forms. The jacket, I feel like I prefer it more of a coat as opposed to a jacket. I just love that overall feel. I guess for the more like right now where the sun is still kind of shining here and there, they do have the gilet version of the quilted. This is more like a more of a flatter quilted material. This is another option from HM. I can't seem to find the link online. I don't know if this 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 completely sold out. But this is from, I got this in the store, so it's just from H&M, 24 and it's small. But I do have an alternative from Boohoo, which I will link instead. So this is another way of wearing it. You can wear this with like, I will link, I will put a video with like a skirt, with boots, however you want to wear it. Next thing I'm excited to wear are trench coats. Now trench coats are the perfect transitional piece. They're not like the winter wool coats, but they can still act as a coat, as a jacket for you. So I have this one, which I am obsessed, obsessed with, that I got from ASOS, and it looks like this. It's got like this like faux leather trim going on the sides and around the back. And again, I have a video on this with me styling this. I absolutely love this coat. I've worn it so many times at home. I love anything military style, I love trench coats, and I feel like this is definitely a piece that you should have and can work in different ways. It can be dressed up or dressed down, dressed down with jeans and trainers and like, you know, a plain t-shirt, dressed up with, you know, with heels and leather trousers. There's so many ways, or even a skirt and have this really long. This is a size six and it fits like a 10, like it fits quite oversized. So I would suggest for this particular one going down the size. And I still like the oversized fit, but I'm definitely glad I went for a six because the eight would have been quite big on me. The next thing I'm excited for are knee-high boots. I'm not just your regular knee-high boots. I'm talking about the chunky knee-high boots. It might be like wellies with like a <laughs> chunky sole. So this first one I got from Ego and they look like this. They're just a regular like, you know, fair leather boots, but they have this, this chunky heel. And I just love the way they look on. Again, I'll insert a video somewhere for you to see how they were styled. I just love how they look on. And I was like, I'm gonna get this in different colors. Like this is something I can see wearing multiple times. I also have these ones from Stradivarius. This can be worn in different ways, with a dress, with shorts, with with a blazer, you know, with a skirt, however you want to style it. So these are these these things aren't new to you know fall fashion. So it's just they're really good to incorporate into your wardrobe. If you don't want to go for the heels version, you can definitely go for the chunky boots. Of course, I have to get it in an off-white colour as well. They look so cool on. I'm so excited. I'm already seeing the colours already forming what, what I want to wear them with. And um, speaking of colour, brown is definitely going to be another staple piece in my fall, autumn fall wardrobe. This blazer will definitely make making another appearance. I don't think I shot this. Absolutely love brown. Um, I picked up the Jacquemus Chiquito, the large Chiquito bag, which is Chiquito brand what it's called the, the bigger size i just feel like um the bigger size is more practical love 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 this color and i also got this bag from ego giving me balenciaga vibes but i thought it was quite a nice addition to you because i didn't have i do have another brown bag but i didn't have something like this and i thought it was quite affordable it's like 19.99 i think 20 pounds picked it up i think the way it's going to be worn this season is going to be a little bit different so i've seen brown being worn with blue and green i think blue would be such a great contrast i don't know if you can see what i'm what i'm talking about like the kind of like color combination i think it's absolutely fantastic i've seen some color trends like the blue and the brown and it just looks so nice this is just a cardigan i picked it from boohoo i love how the camera is picking it up for once, picking up the true shade. So as much as blue isn't really an autumn fall colour, I, I like the fact that pops of colour are still being introduced into this season. So like I said, blue is perfectly a good colour to add. Even pink as well, like fuchsia pink. Um, I have this really gorgeous blue 
bag from Zara, which I think is sold out. I, I really, really think that this would look so nice. Oh, so squashed. I think this would definitely go well. Like, you can even see it right now with the brown blazer and the blue. It seems like such a big contrast, but it looks really, really nice. And I definitely can't wait to style this. Guys, I literally forgot to show you this. Do you understand how amazing this coat is? The color is just fab. When I saw this, I was like, I have to get this in. Yes, I said no more coats, but how can you pass on this coat? The color alone, the rust color, it's quilted, it's got a hood. I got it oversized, so I got it in the size 14. It's from Boohoo. I don't know if you remember last year, I had this in black and cream. Absolutely loved it on. I eventually saw the black one, but the cream one I still have, and I will reintroduce that. I don't think I, I don't think the picture ever made it to the gram, but I took a picture and I just didn't like it. I just never, like, never posted it, but this, this is getting worn. Contrast with brown, like this is gonna be a vibe. I, I'm already seeing the look already. Definitely gonna have my legs out for this. Just don't know how I'm gonna wear it, but I absolutely love this coat and I just have, it's, this was like a steal because it was sold out completely in the regular size. Still a lot of sizes for the petite, so this, I just kept on refreshing it and first of all, an eight came up and I didn't want to get it in my size because I didn't want it to be normal. I want it to be like big and oversized. I think I have a video of me wearing this. If I don't, I apologize. This is fantastic and I honestly can't wait to wear this. You do not understand the vibe that this is giving. Moving on to long sweater vests and long sweater cardigans. I picked up a lot of these from like Boohoo. And I have, I actually have a lot of my sweater vests from last year, so I don't tend to buy any more, even though I already did. God, I'm so terrible at this. Yeah, this I got from blah, 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 what's this from Zara? H&M, H&M. I went back into H&M, they have this out again. Wore it over a shirt with like thigh high boots last year. So yeah, so sweater vest again, that's something I'm really excited to wear. This one again, this is from Primark. Primark? Do you not sleep on Primark? I went in there the other day, I was like, Okay, they're really doing well with their autumn winter stuff. So please, if you have a product near you, go have a look at some stuff in there. I was blown away with what I saw. Cardigans, I have been looking at menswear cardigans because I want to wear them as dresses, like a sweater dress. This is some, a menswear cardigan from ASOS. I absolutely love the print, it's just so cool. And again, it's got the autumn fall colors and I wore this with like my white boots. Love it, love it. Next thing I'm excited for are, or is leather. So leather anything, it could be leather boots, leather clothing. I have so many things in here that I, from last, again from last year that I didn't wear. This was from, I don't know if anyone remembers this, this was from Zara last year. So it's be like some sort of like jacket. So um, it's like a balloon sleeve uh, for leather top jacket thing <laughs> from Zara. Leather shirts, leather dresses, leather trousers. I've seen, you know, wide leg leather trousers leather blazers as well you know i love that don't have one to show you but it's upstairs but i'm excited so number one i got from plt comes in green comes in brown this you can still get some sizes this is sold out i wore this as a dress it is a leather dress a leather shirt dress um, but i got it oversized so i can obviously have that oversized balloon feel absolutely love it and i can't wait to get this out on the gram some shorts some leather shorts from boohoo i got one from boohoo again i have a few from i have one from top shop i got this one from asos so like it comes in different colors different shape you have the paper bag you have the bermuda shorts you have the much much shorter version so I'm uh, excited to wear this too. Obviously coats are another big thing. I'm excited to wear. I wish I could show you every single coat I have in my collection right now because I'm just, again, so many of them I bought last year I didn't get to show you. Let me just pick one out. This coat I picked up again, the start of this year from ASOS Design. And honestly, ASOS, H&M are the two Best and mango, two best places, two free best places to get coats from. She long coats. This is a size 10. I never got to wear this. Excited to put this on. But now coats, I'm excited for, you know, wool coats, faux fur coats. I have so many of them. I'm gonna list, like just show you what I mean, pictures that I you know I'm talking about. Um probably show you the ones I've already worn as well. This particular coat, this coat, um, I'm wearing it again. I think River Island have brought out their version and I actually like mine. 
I don't know what the River Island one feels like, but it looks it feels it looks longer, but it doesn't feel as like like furry as mine. And excited. Let me put this away because oh. that's all I wanted to show you. I'm sure there's so much more, but I know these are the things I know that I'll be really, really excited to wear, and I know that these are gonna be like these are staples for fall. There's no, there's no right or wrong way of what to wear. Wear what's comfortable for you. A lot of these things, like I said, have been repeated over the last few seasons. So it's so much easier to, you know, to wear things. That's it for the video. I hope this was helpful. If I have missed out any categories, I will put them down below as well. I feel like I'm missing something. But if I have done, I will put it down below for you. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.